Good morning, Santa Margarita. Today, October 4th, 2017, we celebrate the memorial of St. Francis of Assisi. He greatly contributed to the renewal of the church by embracing a life that seeks freedom from vanity, worldly attachments, and corrupt desires for power and relationship. He established a community of men referred to as the Friars Minor, who observed the rules reflecting the life of poverty, chastity, and obedience he embraced. Let us offer our prayers today for the lives affected by the shooting incident in Las Vegas. We pray for those who died, those who are injured, and those who lost their loved ones. Please stand for morning prayer. Let us start our prayer as we say together, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you are also called into one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Let us pray. We continue to pray for truth, justice, and healing for all the lives affected by the indiscriminate mass shooting incident at Las Vegas. We, pay, we pray for those who died and those who lost their lives protecting others. We pray for those who got injured, most especially Ellie Gargano, class of 2012, for her quick recovery and those who lost their loved ones. We appeal that, that you bestow your persuasive, transformative, and healing grace that we, your children, may actively work together to help prevent situations like this from happening again. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, SM. Welcome to ETV 2.0. I'm John Grayson. And I'm Corey Coon. Before we get started, let's hear from a few announcements. Don't miss tonight's fall instrumental music concert at 7 p.m. in the Dome. You may purchase your ticket at the door. This Saturday, October 7th, the Performing Arts Department presents the Fall Steel Drums Concert in the Dome at 7 p.m. Come enjoy the concerts and music while supporting your classmates. Pink Ribbon Club will have their first official meeting of the year tomorrow, Thursday, October 5th at 7 a.m. in the Science Lecture Hall. All current and new members are welcome to attend. October is Breast Cancer Aware Month, so we have lots of activities and we need your help. Attention all debate and speech team members. We are completing registration for the October 14th tournament at Irvine Community College. Let Dr. Morales know as soon as possible if you will be participating in this tournament. We have our weekly meeting today, Wednesday after school, in room S212. See Dr. Morales if you have any other questions. From October 10th to 20th, the Performing Arts Department will be running a drive to benefit the homeless. In anticipation of the, music, the musical Godspell, they are, con they are collecting a variety of hygiene items assigned by grade level. Bring these items to collection boxes located in your religion class. The college fair is almost here. It's almost it's, it's so close. And it is important to remember that all grades are welcome to attend. It's never too early to think about your college. Hey Jerry, how are you? I'm good. So what's college fair like? You don't know, it's taking place in the gym this Thursday at 6 p.m. There will be over 200 colleges. So can freshmen go? Yeah, freshmen should definitely go. It's a really good opportunity to meet all the colleges. So you're a sophomore, right? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'll see you there. I'll see you there. 
Don't miss the College Fair coming up on October 5th at 6 p.m. in Moizo Pavilion. Juniors and seniors, this is your time to get prepared for your next step in education. However, freshmen and sophomores, you are welcomed as well, as this is an open event for all to attend. Hope to see you all there. Thank you, Gabby and Jerry, and we hope to see all of you there as well. Attention hammock lovers, join the new club on campus for our kickoff meeting after school this Friday. Hammock Nation will be having a brief meeting to discuss our future adventures. Hangouts, you going, you going to want to be there. See what you did there. More info coming soon. The girls' tennis team improved to 3-0 to zero in the Trinity League plague with their 12-6 to six victory over J. Sarah yesterday. The team received outstanding performances from Amelia Kitts, Jessica Gonzalez, Tara Wilson, Madeline Allison, Lauren Fisher, Nadia Tatum, and Kristen Bennington. Attention seniors, January Kairos is already full, but November Kairos is almost a month away and there is still plenty of space on the roster. Fill out your permission forms and turn them in by the end of this week. Kairos is such an amazing senior experience, don't miss out and sign up for November today. Now let's take a quick peek at the orchestra. You might have seen Lauren Denke around here earlier, and now in the studio, she's going to talk about Santa Margarita's Red Cross Blood Drive. Hey guys, so yeah, I'm here to talk to you guys about the Red Cross Club. I am the senior president this year, and I want to let you guys know that our first blood drive will be October 19th, and we encourage you guys all to come out and sign up. Sign-ups will be at the end of this week, Thursday and Friday, and all throughout next week at both lunches. We will be having a table during lunch at the cafeteria where you guys can come and sign up. Very cool, Lauren. What are some of the age requirements for donating blood? Yeah, so that's a common question. Um, if you are 17 or older, you can just come and sign up on your own, but if you're 16 or under, then you actually have to have a parent permission form. Turn that in first, and then we can sign you up. So is the blood drive just for students, or can families and friends sign up too? Yeah, so that's also a common question. So this year, we encourage you guys to go home, talk to your parents, talk to your family members, and if they want to sign up, they are more than welcome to sign up too, because in light of recent events like Vegas and natural disasters, if you guys really want a way to help out and give back to the community, this is a great way to do so. I mean, think if that was you in this situation, and giving blood literally saves lives. So we encourage you guys all to come out and sign up. And if you have any questions, just talk to me or Mr. Visconti, our club moderator, and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem. And before we go, here are a few birthday shout-outs for October 4th. Happy birthday to Bailey Pickering, Wiley Walters, and James Beaumont. That's all we have for you today, SM. For e from ETV 2.0, I'm Corey Coode. And I'm John Grayson. Have a great day, Eagles.